Hello everybody, my name is Joshua and I'm going to show you a way that you can use a template and design custom lower thirds in Premiere Pro. This is Homer Johnston. He played for the Union City Greyhounds back in the 40s and uh, I have created this lower third in uh, Premiere Pro. I want to show you guys how to do it. Now, what I'm going to do is just delete my work here. Go over here to uh, my project. I've set this up. You need to set your project up to whatever your settings need to be. I don't know what uh, format would be the best for you guys. I've just set a generic one up. Uh, whether it be 1920 by 1080 or if you're working in 4K or whatever you're working with. Um, what you need to do is you need to import some elements. Um, I'm just using a still photo. Drag and drop it onto your timeline. I use video one. And you can use video. This is just a still still picture. And uh, what I'm going to do with the old or Johnson, I'm going to bring him down just a little bit. So he's kind of uh, much more f framed, much more correct. Now your lower thirds, you can go up here to title. On the top, title, new title. And based on a template. Now, there's lots of different things in here. Um, but you can go down to lower thirds. Now your teacher, this elder, may want you to create your own. So like I said, I'm going to show you how you can take one of these templates and uh, create your own custom one. Now this flower doesn't need to go with baseball, so we're going to delete it. And I'm going to take this and, and hang on a second, nope, undo that. Select the type tool here, and we're going to type in Homer Johnston. Homer Johnston lives in St. Louis. In Union City, Tennessee was a St. Louis farm team back in the day. Union City, Tennessee. Union City Greyhounds. Now, uh, in the 50s, Hall of Famer uh, Red Shandings played for Union City. That's how he got to start. No, excuse me. Homer played in the 50s. Red Shandings played in 42 right before World War II started, but you guys don't care about that. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to right click on the title, go down here to logo and click insert logo. Now, what I've done is I have gone into Photoshop because it says PSD file and I have deleted the background of this baseball. Now, you can see it's kind of crude. You need to do a better job than I did. I'll just click open. And now, what you can do is go to your select tool and you can resize it. Now if you hold shift down it will constrain the size but if you let go of shift you know just mess up the baseball. So we hold shift down and then let go and we'll pull it over here and shift make the ball smaller and we'll put it about right there and that will be our title. You can just click out of it and it is down here, title three. Pull it over there. Now you need your titles, your lower thirds to be long enough to where you can read them is the general rule of thumb. Uh, but since this is only five seconds, I'm gonna shorten it down to four. And then what you can do is you can go over here to effects, put a nice little cross dissolve over there, trim it down to about uh, about 10 frames, 11 frames. Hit play, it fades out. That's a little too long for what I like. That's a little better. And that's how you make a custom lower third from a template. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, enjoy, and you can supplement any of these. You can create anything that you would like to in the title tool, new title, based on template. Take one of those and make them your own. And uh, thank you guys.